Hi, I'm Mary Gannon with Fluid Power World and Design World. I'm here today in Cincinnati, Ohio with Attila Kiss from Clippard. Tell us going to talk to us a little bit about their new isolation valve. So we got some here. Can you just tell us a little bit about the product line that you are manager of? Absolutely. These are PTFE isolation valves. They're um, all wetted areas, all PTFE. We have four different sizes of these valves. They range from a three-quarter inch in diameter and for the solenoid up to an inch and a half. Orifice sizes, they range from one thirty seconds to five thirty seconds. What's so great about these valves is that uh, the material is all PTFE. These valves are very good. Uh, power consumption, very low power consumption. They're from 1 watt to 7.2 watts, uh, maximum usage on these. Uh, as you can see, we have them as two ways or as three way valves. We have two ways. We have two way normally closed and also as normally open. And we have the three way diverter valves. Can you tell us a little bit about the applications that these are going to be used in and why Clipper decided to develop a product like this? These particular valves can be used in uh, medical and analytical instrumentation. They're uh, used in HPLC equipment, GC equipment, diagnostics. Uh, they could handle whole blood. They could handle really aggressive liquids and medias that run through the valve itself, especially since they're all made out of PTFE. Uh, they're very corrosive resistant. Uh, they're, they're very good valves. It's a pretty impressive line. I'm sure there are some challenges that come with manufacturing a product like this. Can you tell us a little bit about how Clipper had kind of overcame those challenges and how you make these particular components? Yes, it has been a little bit challenging for Clipper to manufacture these since they haven't manufactured PTFE before. The valves are made of uh, very high tolerance PTFE. Tolerances can be as close as uh, two tenths on some of the parts and to bring that technology to Clippert and to actually help them uh, manufacture these parts was uh, at times a little bit challenging, but they uh, overcome that challenge and we have made a great success and we have a great line at this point uh, with these isolation valves. Well, great. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this room that we're in, uh, Attila? This is a new facility here at Clippert for you guys, right? Absolutely. Uh, right now we're currently inside a clean room that uh, we assembled here at Clippert. We've uh, managed to put the clean room in here and one of the main reasons is for the cleanliness of the product line and to keep up with uh, all of our uh, manufacturing standards for this product line for the medical instrumentation and diagnostic uh, field. The clean room is all um, humidity controlled and has uh, HEPA filters and all isolation valves are actually built in this room, assembled, tested 100%. So Attila, can you tell me a little bit about what happens in this room with the assembly and the testing that happens here? Yes, all, all valves get assembled here. Every single valve gets uh, ultrasonically cleaned. Um, also, before assembly time, every single valve is inspected under the microscope, therefore to make sure that every valve is clean before they're all assembled. And also we have a great machine here that does actually all the uh, automated testing for us, and it does a pressure decay testing. Uh, what it does is that it actually tests uh, the valves, whether it leaks uh, any of the uh, membranes or the seat. And uh, this is a great equipment that we've manufactured here in-house using great Clipper products. And uh, it also tests for pressure decay testing and also tests for uh, flow tests as well at the same time. And what's so also great about this product is that it, there's no human intervention or interpretation whether the valve leaks or not. It's uh, an automatic tester and it just tests the valve and tells you whether it passed or failed. Great. Well, thank you so much. And now on the manufacturing side, we're going to talk to Glenn Rahm, who's going to talk to us about some of the challenges that Clippert had to overcome in manufacturing these valves. Glenn, what were some of the biggest challenges that you had to deal with working with PTFE? Well, with PTFE, you're, you're always chasing the, the diameter of the material. It, it tends to grow, it tends to um, shrink, it um, is very slippery, um, soft. Um, the, the key to the success of machining the material is actually the tooling. Um, you want to have really sharp tools and um, always measuring and checking the tolerances of the parts. And tooling is probably the big key to machining the parts. Great. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate all your time today. And uh, please visit www.clipper.com for more information on these veils. And thank you for watching.